Welcome back folks, my name is Last Snow Meal and today in Cyberpunk 2077 we are going to talk about animals. Where are they? Well, let's find out from the lore. So you were probably wandering around the city and in the badlands and you saw one thing. It's empty, zero animals anywhere. Shouldn't something be here? Well. They were, but probably 80 years ago in that universe. You see, cyberpunk is supposed to represent a future where humanity doesn't work towards adapting or slowing down climate changes, instead exploiting the planet for power and wealth. It basically sped up the changes in climate. Plus, huge megacorporations became powerful to the point where they make a government seem obsolete, and pretty much taking the world for themselves. Wait, am I still talking about cyberpunk? Anyway, the reason I mention that is because everything they did, directly or indirectly, changed the entire ecosystem. And when you lose one species due to their home being wiped out or acid rains wiping out crops and fields, so animals can't get any food or fresh water, so they die. And when a balance of a perfect ecosystem is breached, that's when more species, which depend on something, start dying out as well. And that is only on the US side. Then imagine having a DEA in 1992 develop artificial plagues to stop the production of drugs in South America, which not only rendered fields pretty much dead, it also ruined the entire ecosystem of the land. Of course, with the changes in climate, you have changes in weather, so storms, rain, droughts, you name it, it was all over the place. And another human factor would be also constant wars. Going from the South American war against the narcos, then corporate wars with huge levels of destruction which pretty much destroyed the last beacon of animals which didn't die out from weather changes. Oh yeah, there is also this, Johnny f***ing Silverhand and his love life. Now, after the radiation pretty much did the rest of the job for the animals and all living things, surviving people of Night City decided that the best thing to do with all the radioactive material and wreckage from the nuke would fit best in the ocean. You know, for good measure, so even the waters around Night City are radioactive to the point where nothing can survive. So step by step, everywhere, pretty much in the world, Due to these weather changes, all of the animals died out. Now, generally, it did actually change the entire ecosystem of the world, but, you know, as humans are, we can adapt to it. So, of course, people in 2077 got their food, but still, even the meat there is not from original sources or normal animals. They're probably coming from artificial, you know, animals that were cloned or created for the sake of having animals, but only things which can kinda survive are chickens and rats and cockroaches, everything else pretty much done. So little by little, all of the animals, tiny and big, simply disappeared into the history with only a few surviving in maybe some areas around the world, but it's nothing close to the numbers that were present before. You also have to keep one thing in mind. Because food was getting scarce for people, the only thing they can do is hunt. And when you have a lot of people, especially nomads, going through the badlands or going through the areas of US hunting down animals, and when you have big corporations who were actually reprocessing meat before, take their, you know, hunting and scavenging to the next level when more and more people require meat, that also resulted in less and less animals surviving each and every single year in this universe. And this is the story on where are the animals in the universe, going from the original Cyberpunk 2020 all the way to 2077. We're probably never going to see them again, but if cloning becomes a bigger thing in Cyberpunk, then maybe. But without it, the original animals are pretty much done. Thank you for watching, click that like and subscribe button for more lore and also join our growing community on Twitter and Discord. I also do have a Patreon page, if you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can do it through the link below. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone, bye bye.